I would like to start this video with a demonstration of today's project. What you see on the small stream is my ESP32 cam in a 3D printed case and it's streaming in MJPEG which can be viewed in this window. Now I know most of you will say that you have seen a project or two like this and I will say that you are almost right. I wanted my camera to be easily transferred and detected on a new network. In all the projects I seen, you had to supply the SSID and password to your local network while compiling, which meant if you move to a new network, you need to recompile and upload the code. Another issue is to find the camera on the network. You can connect it via serial and see the outputted IP, but again, that meant you, you will need to be connected to the camera. And this video will cover the process, adding a Wi-Fi manager to the camera code, making small tweaks to make it more easily and reliably found on a network and the Python script to find and stream it on the computer. So let's dig in. Let's start with the Arduino code. I found this great project as the base. It did all I wanted except the fact that you had to place the SSID and password in the code as you can see here. The solution was adding a Wi-Fi manager. We have created one in the past, I will place a link on the screen and in the description, but it did not fit the ESP32 cam since, and if you know, otherwise players may know, there is no spiff support on the ESP32 cam. So I went back to where we got our inspiration for our Wi-Fi manager, and that one uses an EEPROM. The Wi-Fi manager, if you did not use one in the past, sets the ESP32 cam to or any other ESP to act as an access point with a portal that allows you to enter the SSID and password. It's well documented and it's really easy to use. The changes I made was to add the library and have the following settings for the manager. Note that this this row allows you to reset all the settings that are on the Wi-Fi manager. The original Wi-Fi connection process of the code was marked out and the last important part of code I added was this, which I will explain the need for in the Python script. So let's go over that one. In order to find the camera on the local network, I had to first find the local IP that is connected to the internet. I, for example, have three IPs Two are used by IIS and one for the local network. To solve this, I open a socket and return the IP address associated with it, as you can see in this part of the code. The next step is to try all the 254 options on the IP address block. Looking for a 200 OK response on the slash EZSP32 cam URL with a timeout period of 0.4 second. As you can see in this part of the code. Remember I mentioned adding the slash ESP32 cam in the, into the code? The reason was that I originally tried to find the camera by the stream URL itself and also by the slash JPEG URL it has, but I had a really, really bad result. On the other hand, the slash ESP32 cam was started, tested with this code for hours with only rarely ever failing. And the last part of the code is once we know the IP, we open the stream using this code. So now let's run the code and see it in action. And we found the stream. And once we know the IP, we can copy the link to any web browser. Note, this code allows only one user per camera, so we got to stop the Python code before we can see it in the browser. I really like the result of this project and I have a list of improvements. Upgrading the camera case, preferably with a mountable ba base so I can mount it to a tripod and adding a LED indication on the camera state will be great as well. Adding GUI and settings for the Python, making adding a save last camera IP feature possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Uh, till next time.